Okay, in this video I'm going to show you uh, briefly all of the accessories that I have been using over the years that I found work best with my Vuzix Smart Swim on a regular basis. Um, these are the devices that I would recommend and they're my go-to devices. Essentially, for headphones and listening to audio, they're Bluetooth paired to your Smart Swim. I have, uh, these are my dry land uh, smart swim goggles. These are my uh, water training goggles for both lap training and in open water. I use two pair. It's much easier that way. Um, I have a heart rate monitor for my dry land work. I do elliptical. I'll do rowing. Um, you can run in these on a treadmill. Um, and those are the dry land modes. You also have indoor track mode that you can set up with the lap trainer. So this is all using the lap trainer app um, on those devices. Now I also have the headphones I mentioned. I have these, uh, these are bone conducting headphones. They're the Aeropex. And the Aeropex, the older bot version, had longer battery life. So these have a, a larger, uh, longer amount of time you can uh, have them charged for. And I will use these on my elliptical if, uh, for privacy or I'll just uh, use an, uh, my cell phone or whatever to use my playlist there uh, in, the, in the water for my uh, open water swims in my lap pool swims. If I'm not with a team, I'll use the headphones. But if I'm with a team or a coach on deck, whatever, I don't use a headphone. So it's nice I can pair wirelessly uh, either of the two headphones. These are the H2O interval headphones. And again, these are the Aeropex bone conducting headphones. They're Bluetooth paired to your smart swim. The nice thing about the H2O intervals, they're in ear. So you have to have them in, you know, they're in ear. And you're going to want to find the right size diameter here and the right ear earplugs here. Because otherwise uh, they will leak. And you don't want, as soon as water gets in your ear canal, the audio is not as effective. It's the same problem for the bone conducting. They'll recommend that you, when you're going in the water, you want to put the earplugs in there. And uh, I have... Uh, Silicon earplugs. These are very good earplugs. I have found I've tried several others, but these soft silicon seem to work for me You're different. Everybody's probably gonna have a different experience, but these work really well and They'll help keep the sound volume louder and more clearer if uh, you use earplugs uh, With your bone conducting headphones and obviously if you're using the in-ear you don't need to have the earplugs because you got to have Canal open so you're gonna do it without the earplugs. Now another nice feature about these H2O intervals is when you have a hoodie on and your hoodies, you're wearing a hoodie, it's almost impossible to use the bone conducting headphones underneath the hoodie in the colder waters. But with the H2O intervals, once you put them in your ears, you'll see this the hoodie just kind of slides over and then what you do is you slide the audio device, the H2O intervals, right up the back of your head and underneath your smart swim, your smart swim battery pack. And this way you can have uh, headphones audio while you're out in the frozen waters doing your training out there when it's deadly cold. And uh, of course I have my cell phone. I use my cell phone for all my pairing. Typically my cell phone's in the car or it's in the, in the locker or whatever in the gym. I don't typically take it out on deck or out in the waters with me. Um, but I use that, to, it's the only way to get pairing up to my Strava account and get our sessions st stored and uploaded to your Strava account. In terms of heart rate monitors, there are different heart rate monitors. This is the Wahoo Fitness I use for dry land. But uh, really the best one I find for swimming and whatnot is the Polar Verity uh, heart rate monitor. Um, it's small, tiny, it's very easy to get to lose it. So you got to be careful. It has a tendency to fall off. And bounce around all over the pool. But what I do with this, guys, uh, once you get your gear on, you put your cap on, and then you basically slide the heart rate monitor under the cap directly behind the smart swim. It's going to look something like this. And this with the heart rate monitor under the cap. And I do this every day. And you get used to it. And you take it off. Make sure it's the first thing you take off. Take it off because you will be, invariably, you're going to lose it if you're not careful. It's a heart rate monitor and then essentially every every evening when I charge my swim I make sure it's on the charger and it's the flights are flashing so I know it's constantly in charge mode. So when I get to the deck of the pool 
we basically unhook the battery pack we're good to go and sometimes before I leave the house I'll power it on like right now it's powered on and uh, essentially this your smart swims ready take your heart rate monitor out your heart rate monitor is ready put your cap on slide the heart rate monitor up under your cap put your smart swim on you're good to go if you're going to add headphones you're going to put the headphones on first turn them on you've already paired them in bluetooth so they'll automatically connect so you put them on your head like this hit the power button they turn on and then you'll basically let me see if i can do that here i'm going to put the earplugs in like so earplugs in like so then we're going to put our cap on that goes next like so over my ears, my cap. Notice that headphones are back here. We're good to go. Then I'm going to take the heart rate monitor. I'm going to slide that up underneath about there. You get it close initially. And then you're going to pull your goggles on like this. And there you go. And then you can see the heart rate monitor is sitting right about here. Right there. Just underneath. So you never lose connection, you'll have excellent heart rate readings, uh, just having it set up this way. Um, works great. Very, very good at the accuracy of the heart rate monitor. The optical heart rate monitor is better, is much improved if you uh, have it someplace where things are moving. My sport watch on my wrist was not as effective. You can broadcast your heart rate monitor from your sport watch as a BLE heart rate monitor and your smart SIM, you can hook it up. If you look in the configuration app, one of the options is heart rate monitor. But uh, I would much more recommend if you're going to get use it more frequently uh, to use the polar verity up by your temple. And uh, essentially that's it. That's how I uh, do my training with my Vuzix smart swim.